In this video, I'm going to show how <coughs> the backlash compensation works. Uh, firstly, we remember that after saving a position, you have to first go up in frequency and then after recording, go back and always re uh, record or save the position upward. Now we are going to save this memory in memory 3. If we go to another memory, for instance memory 2, uh, we go upwards to a lower frequency and then uh, return into memory 3. We can see how accurate is the, the, the position. If we don't use backlash compensation, uh, we had 33 and now we have 0. 0 backlash compensation. We are going to see how inaccurate uh, become the, the system. We are going to go to mem <coughs> the memory 2 and then return to memory 3. It's a real problem in the backlash conversation. Now we, we can observe that at least uh, 300 uh, kilohertz uh, below the, <coughs> the desired frequency. Now we return to the old backlash. Uh, 30 33 and make the same the same movement go to memory 2 and then return to memory 3 that was exactly in the same position this is only it's a tricky it's a bit tricky, but it works uh, perfectly. Same for listening.